There's so many holes, guys. I'm not even sure how long I've been out here. There's so many holes. Hello, folks. I'm back with um, part six of the project. Probably maybe day eight of actually working on it. Um, I have been drilling holes for basically three days straight, all day long, with uh, occasional half-hour breaks for, like, Battlefront 2 and Heroes vs. Villains lightsaber fighting. Because <laughs> nothing blows off steam like pushing somebody off the map. Watch for me. Away from this. Greetings. But, um, yeah, I've made a lot of progress. I have finished the lower saucer section. So for all the regular windows, I used um, the second to smallest bit that comes with the wow stick. And for all of the little, which I just did these today, all of the little uh, breakfast nooks, those are all the, uh, the smallest drill bit. And those things are indeed very small, and they snap very easily, so you want to make sure that when you do your wedging around and widening the hole, that you do it very gently, and that you don't actually try to put any force on it. Just let the tool do the work. Um, yeah, I've gone through. What I do is every time I break a bit, I order a new set. And uh, since the wow stick thing is such a wobbly point, you know, it's definitely not well aligned. I'm probably just going to return them all when I'm done with the project, get something better, but just needed something that worked for now at least, so, so these are all pretty much done, I wasn't planning on doing all of the, uh, the, um, bay windows, <laughs> I was going to kind of alternate, um, and just do some of them, and just make sure that it was symmetrical, but then I went a little bit crazy and realized that they're actually not that bad, and especially with the smaller bit. I think they're a little bit deeper than the regular windows, which makes them surprisingly easy to work with. Also, I made sure to hold the piece in my hand when I was doing these. The other ones I did on this on this uh, foam board thing, all the regular windows, I just sat and watched TV and drilled holes uh, with the light propped up. But for these, I have definitely held the piece in my hand and... Uh, drilled it carefully and used these magnifier guys here, which are super helpful and have a built-in light. Um, if you have any trouble, you know, definitely get a set of those. And they will help you out. Um, but yeah, so it's coming along pretty well. Uh, here's the top part of the saucer section. So I decided not to do anything at all with the bridge because I tried seeing what I could come up with on my two guinea pig enterprises and obviously that is a total mess um, and even when I tried a little bit more carefully I still I mean it's okay but I wasn't pleased with the results and I knew that it was gonna you know tweak my OCD like crazy and I'd always be wishing I hadn't done it or done it differently so I decided not to do it at all um, so but I think I more than made up for it with all the other windows but yeah this is my uh, back. This is actually supposed to be the project, and um, this was supposed to be my practice enterprise, and it came apart so well that I ended up using that one instead. And this one's all clean and super new looking, and this one's got like marks and shit all over it. I'm gonna clean it up, but it's just kind of ironic because it was supposed to be this nice, beautiful, shiny enterprise, but. Funny how things work out, <laughs> but at least I still have a spare set of parts um, and two sets of stickers, which is nice, but yeah, so 
didn't mess with the bridge. I'm just getting started on the star drive section. So that's coming along good. And what I did when I uh, was working on the little foam thing here, I poked a hole in it right there. And then I took the little screw post and stuck it down in there. So when I was working on it, even if it got bumped, still had something to anchor it. And that way, you know, obviously if the drill bit goes through, it's not going to go in my leg or anything like that. But yeah, for the more precise stuff, it's probably better to hold it in your hand, close to your face. But, you know, I would recommend those magnifiers for another reason, because I had a drill bit break and fly off and hit me in the corner of the eye. So, at least, you know, with those things on, it wouldn't have been able to hit me square in the eye. Yep, so it is definitely coming along. I have the rest of my parts should be coming tomorrow, my power switch and my power jack. Um, and that's pretty much all I have left that I need. Uh, one thing, one possible change of plans, I know I mentioned before that I was talking about putting the switch right there. Well, I realized later, you know, the whole, I'm building it with the idea of that if something goes wrong, I can disassemble it and fix it. Well, if I have the switch here, and this little thing here needs to be pushed down, and then the stand part needs to be slid back to pop off, that's going to be in the way. So I'm going to check it out and see if I have enough clearance to maybe put it further down. But if not, it's probably going to end up going over here. Uh, so not to get in the way of that being able to travel in and out in a pinch. So um, that's pretty much the only change. I also wanted to mention that when you're drilling uh, the bulk of these windows, um, really any of them, but um, if you mess up and it's something that you really just can't live with, all you have to do is fill it with a little bit of the uh, putty, like that, and then, I just can't even see it myself, right there, so I'll turn it over, see where my finger is. So you can just fill it right up and you won't be able to see it at all. Since I have so much experience drilling these holes, I thought it might be a good idea for me to show you exactly how I do it. So I'm going to try to demonstrate the technique as well as I can on camera. All right, so I'm taking, let me see if I can hold it closer. There we go. Okay, so I'm taking the drill bit, putting it right in the little pocket there. At the far edge. Now I'm drilling straight down. Put it on the other edge, making sure I'm in the hole. I'm drilling straight down. Now you're going to miss this middle part most of the time. Definitely missed it, yeah. So you're going to gently angle it that way and stick it in the other way and gently angle it that way. Stick it in the other way and gently angle it that way. And just gently wiggle it back and forth. And go back and forth from hole to hole. Another thing I wanted to mention. There we go. And then we got it. And I'll just move it back and forth and clean the hole up as much as I can. And there we have a window. Nice and clean. So I was going to say, the other thing I wanted to mention is when you're doing this, it might be a good idea to have a box of tissues nearby, because you're doing a lot of bending over, and things tend to want to run forward. So now I'm switching to the smaller drill bit, and I'm going to show you how to do some of these 
smaller windows. So here you can see we have the captain's yacht. Scariest part? Maybe. Same deal. Just make sure it's seated in the edge and then drill straight in. Hopefully the camera's in focus. And then on that one, you should be able to get it in the middle. Yep, and you can. And then... Alright, let's do that again. So we go on here on the edge. Straight down. On the other edge. Straight down. And then in the center. And then, like I said, the, the, this is a very light drill bit, so you want to be sort of super gentle with it. Something else you can do if you're careful is drill straight inward and then take some of that barrier out. Clean it up. best window you're going to get on camera. And for these guys, not my, oh, let's see. There we go. Not much different. These little guys these little guys you can kinda do your best with. I usually do two oop, there goes the drill bit. But yeah, I usually go two holes right next to each other. And then ream it out a little bit. But yeah, once again, the wow stick has failed me. last thing I wanted to show you was how to take the stand apart, not like it's rocket science, but anyway. Um, I also took some clear pictures of all my windows, so if anyone wants to copy my pattern, all you have to do is just pause the video and uh, maybe take a screenshot and then you'll be good to go. So let me show you real quick how to do this, super easy. So you just take a little butter knife, push down right there, slide that back. And as you can see, I actually should have plenty of clearance for my toggle switch. So as long as I can clear it when I push the little tab down, yep, because it pretty much comes right up there. So if I still want to do that, 
That should not be a problem. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.